Riley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, September 23rd. Okay, so we have the moon in Gemini here all day. It is going to be a moon day. The moon rules over Mondays and we have all nine aspects here today, all moon events. What does this mean? Well, we just had a major day here yesterday. We moved into Libra season. We triggered the equinox. We watched Venus move out of her rulership into Scorpio energy. We had some powerful aspects with the sun and Pluto really helping us to make a major change, major transformation within ourselves. We're bossing up to new levels of power, of control over ourselves, over our lives. And yeah, of course, we dipped into the darkness as we watch Venus kind of complete her series through her rulership that 29th critical crisis degree was definitely a humdinger bringing up a lot of uncertainties with our current realm our current reality our current goals our current relationship dynamics so we had a lot going on it was a very busy busy day in the cosmos and because of that i feel like the universe is giving us a little bit of a time out to adjust to these particular energies to kind of gain our footing gain our bearings just a tad and the moon in gemini energy of course has us all up in the headspace we're very curious we're very i'm going to say open to learning to evolving to growing to researching we're just kind of again looking for a lot of inspiration a lot of excitement for things to pop off new ideas we are definitely i'm going to say more energetic than anything else but we are all stuck up in the headspace. We need a little bit of time to kind of review where it is that we're coming from, where it is that we're at, what it is that we're willing to do in order to make some changes. And so this moon day is definitely going to kind of have us rapid firing through our emotions, through our mind space. We're trying to get that in alignment. And we're also trying to stimulate certain epiphanies, certain curiosities, certain creativity. So we're definitely going to have a lot to process in our mental plane. I am going to welcome you to listen to the Ascension forecast for this week because we did talk about how the dizziness, the spaciness, the, uh, I was call it vibrations are affecting the headspace. Um, there's a lot of physical manifestations from a lot of the energy shifts taking place here this week. So tap into the Ascension forecast for that. And again, we're in a brand new season. Download the Libra season e-guide in order for you to stay ahead of the game. Listen to your Zodiac forecast. Listen to the Astro forecast for the events that have already popped off, meaning Libra season, the Equinox energy, and Venus moving into Scorpio energy. So we have a day of emotional refinement and with nine different aspects, all nine involving the moon, we are going to have some high highs and probably just maybe one or two low lows, which of course is going to help us put things into perspective. Okay, so we kick the day off the moon in Gemini energy going to make a beautiful interaction with Neptune who was retrograde in his placement of power here in Pisces energy. This is creative energy at its finest, our intuition, our let's call it gut is working very well with our logical, practical mind space. We are giving ourselves permission to move in the la la land to kind of dream, conjure up a vision, a goal for us to actually be working towards and achieving. And of course, we have some intuitive insight. We have a little bit of a calling, if you will, pulling us into one path and direction and logically, practically speaking, the moon and Gemini able to plan and strategize on how to actually bring this particular goal, vision, dream, this insight into fruition, into this materialistic realm. This is a spark, if you will, of new inspiration, of new excitement, of a new vision, of a new goal for us to be trying to kind of work our way towards. So this is electricity coursing throughout our bodies. Again, listen to the Ascension forecast to understand how to get that energy kind of flowing through your body at a proper rate. Now the moon going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars is the god of war. He rules over our physical action, our passion, our desire, even our anger. He's not in the best place right now because he's in cancer energy. Means that he's not going after anything 
in particular, other than to ensure our safety or security or stability, we're in preservation mode. We're willing to take action if it means fighting, defending, protecting what it is that we've already built, what it is that we've already created, what it is that actually means something to us, especially where our home and our family dynamic is concerned. However, just like the crab, cancer energy has us kind of sideways trying to go in a particular direction, but we're not moving in a straightforward path. We're kind of doing the cha-cha-cha, one step to the side, one step back. Are we actually getting anywhere? It's probably not. However, the moon interacting with Mars in this way, definitely having us a little bit more honed in, a little bit more focused on what we are motivated and determined to do. And again, most of this is preserving what it is that we've already built and created. There is a warrior type of energy that comes from Mars. We are willing to fight, defend and protect ourselves, our emotions, our family, our worth, our values. The moon is then going to make a little bit of an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer who is retrograde and Capricorn energy. This is definitely going to again start, start unearthing a lot of the old programming, a lot of the old conditioning. We may see where there's a power struggle going on, whether that's within us or whether this is an external relationship dynamic. We may be illuminated to where it is that we're holding fear and doubt and insecurity, trying to make a change. Maybe we're being presented with information and details that is a little bit unsettling. We're not sure what to do with it. We definitely know that it is kind of knocking the wind out of our sails and it definitely doesn't feel good to have that happen. However, we can learn a lot about the tension, conflicting feels that come up with these not so nice aspects. The moon is going to continue some not so nice aspects by getting into the boxing ring and fighting it out with Saturn. Saturn being the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower and discipline. He, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy. So now we're getting into the boxing ring and we're understanding where it is that, again, we're resisting bossing up. We're resisting making a lot of the changes, a lot of the transformations needed in order to close the door on the past and actually clear the space and clean the slate for us to be building towards something new. The seriousness, the somberness that takes over with Mr. Saturn in play, especially when a harsh aspect is kind of popping off, it definitely gives us a little bit of a reality check and it shows us where it is that we've been living in Delulu land, where we're too anchored into imaginary land, where it is that we got to rein and reel it back to at least factor in logic, practicality, rationality. That's where the Gemini energy is coming from. The Pisces energy, of course, has us kind of aligned with intuition and imagination. But unless you have a logical, practical plan on how it is that you're going to bring some of these goals, visions and dreams to life, then you really got nothing. You're just living in imaginary land, living in fantasy land, and nothing is ever going to happen because of it. So this is definitely a little bit of a Debbie Downer. We're not in the best narrative. We're not telling ourselves nice things, supportive things at all. But we do need to illuminate where it is that there is that weakness in our, let's call it default programming, that we have to examine, we have to flip the script on, we have to do better, we have to make some improvements there. The moon is then going to make a harsh interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, now in Scorpio energy. Again, we have to be illuminated to what isn't working. We have to be illuminated to our fears, to our doubts, to our insecurities. This is called shadow work. We have to identify the issue in the problem. We just came out of Virgo season. We should be well versed in identifying the problem in order for us to fix it, heal it, repair it. We, in our heart space, we're doing a deep dive to unearth our deepest, darkest fears, our deepest, darkest desires. The fears are holding us back from actually pursuing those desires. And so we have to get a grip on where it is that we're being blocked, if you will, restricted, if you will, limited, if you will, in actually overturning these negative ass programs and freeing us to actually pursue a new path, new vision, new dream. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the North Node and Aries energy. So this is where we kind of pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off, if you will. We're recognizing where it is that we need to focus on the positive. We recognize where it is that we need to research a little bit more, gain a little bit more information and detail, gain a little bit more perspective before we can actually move out of this present moment. We are more open to growing, to healing, to evolving, because again, we've kind of rationalized where it is that we're going to use these not so nice thoughts and feelings to motivate us to do better to be better 
the moon does come up to bump into team up with conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. He's in this Gemini energy. Again, many of us on the fence about the options, the opportunities that we actually have to pursue, that we actually want to pursue to move on, to move forward. Now, conjunction means that something is ending just as much as something is beginning. What is ending is the confusion. Now, granted, we are still in eclipse season. We are in delusion, a fog of confusion, if you will, for the, I'm going to say, a couple more weeks at least, if not the whole month of October in its entirety. So we are going to be gaining a little bit more, I'm going to say, uh, certainty that one path, one direction, one choice point is gaining a little bit more favor over the other. Now, what is beginning is our want, need, and desire to actually grow, to heal, to evolve so that we can get out of this particular situation. Again, Gemini energy is immutable energy. Mutability means that we are pushing the boundaries of our information, of our perspective, of our thoughts, of our ideas, our situations, our circumstances. We want to change immutable energy. So now we're feeling the pep in our step. We're feeling optimistic. We're feeling confident enough to actually explore these different options, doing a little bit more research, if you will, to gain a bigger, broader perspective on where we're being called to pursue a brand new path, a brand new direction, a brand new opportunity to integrate the wisdom and the knowledge that we've already learned through the tough love life lessons and integrate that into our present day moment. The moon is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who was retrograde in Aries energy. This is a perspective change, an inner dialogue, inner narrative change for the better. We are starting to realize where the funkiness of some of the tougher aspects earlier on in the day has illuminated where it is that we have to do a little bit better in our perspective, in our narrative, in our ability to focus in on the positives instead of being overwhelmed by all that is going wrong. This is a major growth, a major aha moment on where it is that a guess. Again, we're building ourselves up. We are slowly but surely closing the door on the old version of self, that old negative ass narrative, that old belief system, that old, you know, limited perspective. And we're starting to push ourselves into this anchored new version of self, which of course, of course, has optimism, growth, evolution on our brain. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Gemini energy, making a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde at this critical crisis, karmic degree, 29 degrees of Capricorn energy. So air and earth, a little bit difficult to get on the same page because of the furthest elements away. However, emotionally speaking, the moon in Gemini is again focused on the lower level of the intellect. Pluto is doing a deep dive in our psyche, in our programming, in our conditioning. Pluto being retrograde in this Capricorn energy is giving us a final hurrah to kind of examine the power struggles within, where it is that we feel blocked, challenged, restricted for moving on and moving forward, and where it is that we have the ability to flip the script in our mental plane, really gain insight, gain perspective, gain a better narrative, and have power and control not only over our thoughts, but over our emotions. This is definitely a boss up energy. It's an empowerment energy and it's all starting with our headspace.